Are you tired of negative comments on your Google page or your Yelp or your Facebook? Well, look no farther. Following Keenan here, and I'm gonna talk about the five steps I use to help improve my ratings when it comes to social media and your customers when they're in your business experiencing it so that they have a positive experience every time. So let's get into it. As a laundromat owner, it's important to have a strategy in place to deal with those negative feedback from customers when you get them. There are five steps that I use to help my business that hopefully can help you. Step one, respond promptly. When a negative review comes in, respond to it as soon as possible. This shows that you actively monitor your online presence and care about your customer's experience. Step two, take the conversation offline. And what I mean by that is when you're talking to someone and you don't want everybody in the world to see these back and forth conversations, have them send an email to your business email or give them the phone number to your business to call you directly. That's gonna be the best way to solve this without everybody knowing their business, whether they lost their underwear or they can't find their phone. So that's just one piece of advice and it helps because when they're dealing with sensitive stuff, they may not wanna talk on a public forum like that. Now one of them I get a lot of comments about is apologizing and showing empathy. People say that I'm wrong and you prove me wrong because I see so many customers when I say, hey look, I'm sorry that happened. I don't mean to have that happen and I explain, hey, this is why we try to make this place great. I want every customer to have no problems. And so I say I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I have done it and I've got a huge positive response from it. That's why it's my number three. Apologize and show that you care. I, obviously you care. They may not realize you care, especially when they are really hot and they're really tense. Saying sorry is an easy way to bring that tension down real quick. And sometimes you might start talking to them. They might be having a bad day. That's why it's such a personal connection when you're in these laundromats because you just never know the, the, the lot in life people have or the bad day they might have had or maybe there's things in life aren't going well. So make sure that you remember this because a lot of times it's really easy for us to get just as hot. When they get heated, we get heated. Just pull it back, say, hey, I'm sorry. What can I do right now to fix this problem? And that is one of the best ways to solve it and to keep that from going to a negative review. Even if you're not right there, you're on the phone with them, say you're sorry. I always do, it works for me. Number four, take action. And what I mean by take action is, if you're not at the laundromat and it's something big, get there or get someone there or figure out how to get that machine vended for them or figure out a solution in the future so that if you're not going to be there, there's something there for them to use. I've heard of everything from people having lock boxes with money in it or having remote machines or having a special timer on something they could open up from their phone. These are all things you can do so that even though you may not have an attendant there or you're 30, 40 minutes away, you can at least get them going until you get there or get there to resolve the issue. So, and even if you're there and they have a problem, right away, what I do is, if people are already complaining, I say, hey, look, let me run your dryers for you. Hey, and if that's not enough refund because they had more money involved, then I give them a refund too. I do what I can to make the situation turn into a positive one because that person's gonna go out into the world and they're gonna either say one of two things, I love that laundromat or I hate that laundromat. And you don't wanna be the hate. I know people are gonna say, sometimes people use you. Sometimes people are not lying, but sometimes people get you and they get you for a free wash. I would rather have three free washes every month than have one screwed customer. Because that one screwed customer might have 50 people that live in your town and that's 50 more customers, okay? And you will notice when you are being had. So you will get used to that. So don't be afraid of that. I've seen the pros, the guys that own 40, 50 stores. They would rather give out a bunch of free washes to people than have that one mad customer that goes tells the whole town that you don't care. Number five, follow up. And by following up, that is checking with them to make sure, hey, look, does that satisfy everything? And then maybe just say, hey, look, if you can, can you go back and write a little review or an edit your review or write a response to say thanks because that's what's going to preach to people out there about your business. And sometimes if they won't do that, I even go back in and write a response and be like, it was glad to meet you. I was glad to meet you. I was, I'm so sorry for the problem. I'm glad we got it solved and glad we got it fixed. People love to see responses. So make sure you're putting responses on your Google page, on your Facebook page, on your Yelp. A no response is even worse than having a negative response because people read that and they go, look, they never even talked to them. 
so they don't care. When they see that response, then they realize you care. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on this kind of thing with laundromats and in general businesses. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. And what do you think of my advice? What are your thoughts? What would you do in your business? Let me know down below. Like always, till next time, take it easy and don't be a stranger.